This trail is the easiest to find in Moab. Just head west at the Moab McDonald's and keep going until the road ends. It's not part of this video, but honestly, even if you're in a passenger car, the drive down Cane Creek Road to the trailhead is a great way to spend an afternoon. Lots of petroglyphs visible from the road, and amazing rock formations. The campgrounds along the way are often the last to fill up on busy weekends, and from the trailhead, the trail heads up to Hurrah Pass. Just make sure you go on the easier Chicken Corners Trail and not the harder Cane Creek Trail to the left. When people from out of town come to Moab and ask me what Jeep Safari Trail they should start with, I usually tell them to do this trail. It's very easy among off-roading trails in the Moab area, but compared to just regular dirt roads that many people may be familiar with, it seems a little difficult. So it's a perfect trail to start to get a feel for the area. I was talking to a tourist from Nebraska one night at the Moab Brewery. He had rented a razor from the rental company and they had advised him that he check out this trail. He said there was no way any stock vehicle could ever get through it, which honestly is an understandable reaction if it's your first time off-road in Slick Rock. But honestly, a really skilled driver of the Moab area could probably get a Subaru app back through this. My recommendation is just anybody with a truck-based SUV will be just fine with a few places that'll make it exciting. But overall, it's safe and it gives you an idea of what the train out here can be like. Back around 2000, the switchbacks up to Hurrah Pass was much easier, but I think the massive amount of side-by-sides driving up the trail has worn all the dirt off, and it's just a bumpy, rocky mess now. Not as easy as it used to be, but still not too bad by Moab standards. Unfortunately, the high traffic and many tourists not knowing the rules has created a ton of excess impact from people going off-trail thinking that it's just a free ride area where they can do whatever they want. If you head out here, remember just to stick to the trail as much as possible and don't go tearing across country, even if it looks like somebody has already done so before. On the far side of Hurrah Pass, there is a side trail to the Moab wind tunnels. It's a nice place to escape the hot sun. These are the Moab wind tunnels. I've heard of them from, heard them as other names, but that's just what I know them as. It's just a bunch of, uh, Little tunnels kind of eroded in the rock. They're not really caves. Water seeps down through joints in the stronger rock above and erodes the weaker rock below, creating these cavities going deep into the rock, similar to Tusher Tunnel and the Joint Trail in Canyonlands. <laughs> This is Indiana Jones and some spikes are going to come out of the wall and kill me. After Hurrah Pass, the trail actually gets easier out to Chicken Corners. Most people turn around at the wind tunnels or head south to Lockhart Basin. So the rest of the drive is easy if a little bumpy and rocky.
trail sign for Chicken Corners has collected a bunch of new rubber chickens in the last two decades since I was last here. While the trail might not be technical, there is the obstacle of Chicken Corners itself, where the road is squeezed between a cliff and a hard place. It supposedly got its name from tour guides leading people through and the passengers just got too scared and had to get out and walk. It's not a technical obstacle with any difficulty, you just wind through the rocks until you're on the other side, but looking down the side can be a little bit rough for people to get some vertigo. I also learned that it's a little harder to weave a full-size truck around the rocks without scraping them than the last time I was here in a much shorter wheelbase. This is what it's like from the driver's side. Near Chicken Corners, there's also a memorial to Sheriff Joseph Hills Johnson, who died here in 1927. It's not a grave marker, he's actually buried in the Moab Cemetery just off Sand Flats Road. But in 1927, his horse stepped in a hole here and he had a fatal fall. A poignant reminder that this land is not to be underestimated. Finally the road comes to an end as it first narrows to a footpath and then squeezes around the corner and disappears. The footpath is very exposed and other than getting an exciting picture of the trail on the cliff, there's no real reason to push any further. Besides this is a great stopping point to have some lunch and enjoy the view of the river from the other side of Dead Horse Point. This is where the Chicken Corner Trail ends. Beautiful view of the Colorado River and I don't know if it shows up on the screen here but there is a tiny little kayak or canoe or whoever down there. I think it's just one person. Now I've seen always seen this trail going around the corner here but I don't know if anybody ever goes around that because at the end that gets really sketchy. The thing is, if you go around the corner, there's an entire mesa that you would have all to yourself. But I mean, I don't, I don't got a fear of heights, but I'm already a little sketchy on this. Oh, there's a couple power boats coming down.
think we're te still technically in BLM land right now. Um, but if you go around the horseshoe bend here, you start going into canyon lands. Uh, people scratching their name on the rock. Yeah, I think I'll uh, chill here, but it kind of goes around there. I wouldn't go around, but I, I bet rock climbers wouldn't have any problem with it. Just a little too uh, exposed for me. I also noticed tucked away in the rocks up here, looked like there was a memorial plaque, which I don't think you're supposed to do on BLM land but you can get away with a lot when nobody knows you're out here. Ashley Taylor, 20 years old. If you have a Jeep or a real four-wheel drive truck or SUV, this is a fun half-day trip to see some unique views of the river and some odd sights most people in Moab miss. Just remember to be safe, respect the land, and have fun.